A controversial deal between the EU and Turkey to deport so-called economic migrants has resumed, with at least one ship taking people from Greece to Turkey. The boat, with 45 Pakistani men on board, left the island of Lesbos, where about 3,000 people have sought asylum. The high number of cases forced Greek authorities to suspend the deportations at the start of the week because they couldn't process all the applications. Now, under the agreement, people who are not eligible for asylum or refuse to apply for it are sent back to Turkey. And for every Syrian sent back to Turkey, another is supposed to be resettled in Europe. Earlier, protesters tried to stop the same ship from leaving Lesbos and three demonstrators jumped into the water and swam to the anchor chain before authorities removed them from the water. In a moment, we'll take you to Lesbos first, though let's go to Nicole Johnson in the Turkish town of Dekili, where those migrants have arrived. Nicole, now the second boat has just arrived, we understand. What can you tell us about those who are on board? Actually, the second boat hasn't quite arrived. It's still a couple of nautical miles offshore. You should be able to see it behind me. It's been waiting uh, for the first boat to leave. And actually, that is starting to happen just now. As we're speaking, uh, we're going to move around so our cameraman can show you. This is the first boat that arrived earlier this morning. It had 45 people on board, 45 Pakistanis. The second boat just offshore has 55 in total today, we're expecting three boats, 129 people. Now, these people have been classified as economic migrants, people who apparently travelled to Europe to try and improve their uh, economic situation, to get jobs, to help their families. But we actually met some of them a few days ago up in the north of Turkey at a deportation camp. They were migrants who were deported from Greece on Monday. And some of them said that they had had no chance to apply for asylum, that they believed they were asylum seekers. Some of them were from Afghanistan. And they were very troubled, very upset about the whole process. Now, just to explain some of the process to you here on the Turkey side, once people um, arrive here, it's, it's a long, drawn-out process to get off this boat. One by one, they're taken off with about a 10-minute gap in between. So you can see, at the moment, it takes almost all day to simply process around 120 people. From here, they're taken off, and uh, you should be able to see further behind us some tents where they're then processed. They're given fingerprinting, uh, medical checks. There are translators there to try and help them. And there's a few buses behind us and from there, they're put on the buses and sent to the north of Turkey, where they're then in a very good uh, facility that we have seen. More processing is carried out, and eventually the idea is that they'll be deported back to their home countries. Turkey is uh, going through a system of trying to organise repatriation agreements with some 14 countries so that this whole system can get off the ground. Obviously, the long-term plan is that it won't be just 100 a day, it will be hundreds per day. But the way the system is now, it is slow, it is laborious, and it seems to be that it will be some time until uh, a system is in place that allows the thousands of migrants in uh, Greece to eventually come back to Turkey and be sent home. Mm, I suppose the experiment continues for, for many people involved. OK, thank you very much for that, Nicole. Let's now go to Soraya Lenny. She's in Lesbos. Uh, Soraya, obviously we just heard about the logistics in Dekili on the Turkish side of things. Uh, the asylum processing is taking a, a fairly long time. Does Greece has, have resources to handle thousands of migrants, do you think? Well, that's a very good question, Sally, because, of course, Greece has really found itself, particularly the islands, as really the front line of this wave of migrants that came from the Middle East and, and other places into Europe last summer. Now, according to the one of the agencies, or the main agency, really, for respon that's responsible for processing these applications, it's the European Asylum Support Office, or ESO. It's basically uh, getting these applications, it's reviewing them, and uh, then it basically decides whether or not somebody is fit for asylum or not, or basically meets the criteria, it then hands that over to the Greek authorities for effectively a rubber stamp and a final check whether or not somebody's going to get, uh, get asylum or not. It all sounds very uh, 
very easy, but of course it isn't because here on the island of Lesbos, you've got about 3,000 people in the camps uh, basically uh, applying for asylum. Most of those already have, but according to this agency, they're only able to process around 50 applications per day. So if you do the math on that, it's taking a very, very, very long time. And according to this agreement, they basically have to be processed within two weeks. It doesn't leave the Greek authorities much time to process applications, particularly when they really don't have the staff all the resources to do it. And as Nicole was saying, they're facing a lot of pressure about this system and whether or not it's fair and whether or not it's actually transparent. Okay, Soraya, thanks very much for that. That's Soraya Lenny in Lesbos there.